He was like, oh, that was a joke. Oh, yikes. Uh, yeah, I thought... <laughs> oh, she said the word yikes. She said the word yikes. Did you tell oh, a... So you God. told a joke on your dying fiance's cancer Zoom call? Dude, there's... Yes! The hustle I don't can't stop, imagine dude. a worse kind of bomb than saying a joke about your sperm dealing with... <laughs> your wife's cancer and then the person's response is oh that was a joke yikes <laughs> did you uh, did you immediately plug with anyways i'll be at juniors on may 16th Bye. right now because no, no, no. you called yeah, me a bitch you coughed and you didn't even inhale i a immediately fucking... gave you credit fuck you hey you want to reenact you and said you right though yo you want a reenactment he went yeah you right oh that's strong that, <laughs> that, that was, that's <laughs> different that was take two. it's like that it's I... like that dumb bitch with all the glasses <laughs> Oh, smooth. <laughs> That's how I like them. Have you, have, yeah. you seen, have you seen that bitch that does all the videos? Or she's like very fucked up plastic surgery where she pretends to take a bite of food and says, oh, and then, yeah, and say, no. but she can't move her face because it's such bad plastic surgery. Like, so she'll have a sandwich and she'll just like, delicious. And she'll set it down and clearly there's no bite taken out of it. <laughs> and she's like doing it to like prove that she's not anorexic, but she never actually oh, takes a bite of food. Sad. This so is sad. Actually- this is, I thought it was like a bit. This is a real sad woman. No. <laughs> All right. So I said I was going to wait to bring this up until we started recording this fucking episode. Yes, you Mr. said Mr. 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 fucking Toyloy comes out of our bathroom. Tani and I are in the kitchen. And he goes, Sonia. hey, do y'all have a ghost? I was like, <laughs> what? I said it like you this had a while it. ago. And he's like, like, were you guys, were you guys talking to me just now? I was like, no, we were talking to each other, but we're in the kitchen. And it's like close to the bathroom. And he's like, did one of you say my name? And we're like, no. And he goes, I heard something and it either, it sounded like it was coming from the shower, but it could have been coming through the door. And it very clearly said my name. Or, ooh, he said the sentence, it very clearly said my name. Or, ooh. And I'm sorry, but in my book, ooh, it doesn't sound like Chris very clearly. You didn't grow up in a cultured household, and that just that speaks volumes on that whole thing. That's how they say my name. And t- oh, oh, you're, you're oh, you're making this you're making this my fault. No, 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 sorry, <laughs> it's a racial thing. If you would have asked what my homeland name is, maybe it would make sense, dude. But back when I go to Thailand, they call me Uruga, dude. Tanya. <laughs> Tanya is one of the sweetest yeah. people in the world, and she, she has been calling him a pussy time, for dude. like a month now. <laughs> oh, I bet she's amazing at saying the word pussy. Oh, uh, so when she... Uh, I hope Russia wins. When Fuck Tanya. She, <laughs> Jesus Christ. When she is like frustrated and cusses, it's so fucking funny. Does she get super... Does her accent come out really strong? Oh, it comes mad? out super strong, and it also <laughs> comes out in the selection of curse words, how she groups them together. I remember she got frustrated and she just yells, Shit, fuck pussy! <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like every Russian bad guy in like a B movie. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> it made me laugh so fucking hard. So now every time that like I like stub my toe or anything happens, I'm just like, Shit, Shit fuck pussy! pussy! <laughs> also, um, thinking that things are haunted, white people shit. No, that's black, black people being afraid and not fucking with any sort of I didn't say I don't that's, have that's white in me, by the way. I definitely have white in me. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get no, into no, it. No, 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 what you didn't ask. no. You did ask. Hold up, racist. I want, to, I want to correct something right now. It is not thinking something is haunted is not white people shit. Actively pursuing haunted things is white people shit. Okay. I, I do oh, come yeah, here no, once no. a week. I do black come here once a week. Avoiding oh, that no. shit. Is yeah. Oh, fuck no is black people. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I literally said it was haunted and took a shit in it like a week later. I'm not like a, I'm not, I'm not afraid. You, yeah, you were take a shit freaked in a the fuck out when I you came out of that bathroom. Out. I said, oh, because that's the toilet, weird. That's weird. Because the toilet goes <laughs> when it's done filling up. That's yeah, right it. Right at the it, end, it makes a noise. Yeah. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, now I know we cracked the case. What's the problem, gentlemen? I don't fucking... What... The problem is you were terrified of a toilet. I wasn't terrified. I literally... <laughs> toilet was terrified Nobody's of Nobody's terrified of a bully and then shits in their mouth. I shit in that toilet I'm making, I'm making that the name of this episode because of the alliteration. Toilet, toilet is afraid of toilet. <laughs> Toilified? <laughs> He's so mad. Toilet I don't get it. I just don't get it. it. I don't get it. Toilet. Such a garbage. Uh, <laughs> whatever the fuck it's called. Portmanteau. <laughs> Anyways. Um, no, no, no. Say something black to redeem yourself. I don't know. Hey, man. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. The tip, tip it towel on the tippy tail It is what it does. So you got to keep it moving. <laughs> Drunk Steven Wow, hilarious. your blackness is <laughs> quoting Big Sean <laughs> lyrics. Your blackness is that a Big <laughs> Sean lyric? <laughs> tippy tow, tippy tay. That is definitely pooty tang. <laughs> we'll get like, it to wow, today. Is... Fuck that. You gonna get some dick today. I walk into the room. No, 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 oh that. shit, he does say tippy tow, tippy tay. Yeah. Well then, he, I'm I'm reverting back to pooty tang. <laughs> Fuck Big Sean. <laughs> I'm, I'm original. I'm, I'm the original. Who now does like workout TikTok videos? Who Big Sean? <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Rap I mean, he's is, jacked. Your but algorithms are wild, dude. Yeah, rap is not taking <laughs> off. I'm aware. I'm up. aware of a lot of shit. I also why is also the, most <laughs> listen. Most of my TikTok did you videos. Like a video listen when he was to me. Working out. Listen it to me. Popped up big no, out and you're like, no. That's why I haven't more of this, please. No, it's you see the stuff that's like super popular first, and then you slowly get your selection down, which I is do now not. why now I see a lot of mentally handicapped people making music videos. Whoa, oh, it's like our bits coming to life, dude. Artists. What do you mean? It's a music video? pretty incredible. Oh, I'd love to see some down syndrome people singing Living La Vida Loca. That'd be dope in the rain. They write their own music. Oh, listen to me. You and I had an incredible moment on the Dinner Debauchery podcast. I think that's when we became talking friends. about this. We started singing down syndrome lyrics. <laughs> I didn't know they were smart enough to steal from us. That's insane. <laughs> no. Hey, I told you about this back then. I know, but now it's like a thing on TikTok. I told you about the thing on TikTok back then. But it's like blowing up, so it's like more views. I don't I hate you. I hate you and your inability to remember anything. What are we talking about? You have a van? <laughs> <laughs> That's an episode ago. Oh. The episode was called An Extra Chromosome Christmas because we were going to write a Christmas album of Down Syndrome and lyrics And we never together. did. It was actually supposed to drop this past Christmas. Yeah, we were going to do it at Dinner Debauchery Studios. <laughs> you know, we have enough time. We should do it. We should do it. We should definitely <laughs> Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Extra Chromosome Christmas. Uh, I got so you're not that big of a fan. You didn't watch that episode? What's your favorite episode That was again? before Jog, man. That wasn't even Jog. It was the other one. What's bigger right now, Dan or Jog? Right now, Jog, because we haven't made a Den of Demetri episode in about six months. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Man. You keep releasing uh, episodes, though. I assume they're backlogged. Uh, audio. Yeah. I release audio episodes, yeah. I just released another one today, episode 52. Mm. Of Den? Mm-hmm. How many episodes have we done on the Jog? What are we on, 14, 15? Um, I've put out, I just edited, I'm editing number 14 or 15 right now. I think 15. Nice, I thought we would have not made it past six. <laughs> this is awesome. It took me so long to latch on to what Jog stood for. I don't know why. We explained it in the first like you, episode. It's a very, it's well, I mean, I don't listen, but like, you guys told me once in person, and I'm like, that's great. And then I like forgot immediately later and saw Jog and I was like, ah, I can't remember what it is. No, but it, anyways, I'm looking for forward to these guys jerking me off at the end of the episode. We'll get to it. Oh yeah, we forgot to do that after the last episode. We we apologize. Listen, I we're will we're professional. You forget. We're professionals, and normally we like to make sure our guests are comfortable. And it's completely unacceptable that we didn't do that after the end of the last episode. And we will make it right. I appreciate it. And uh, I will live up to the hype. I actually have news about What the about fuck is the sport. hype? <laughs> yeah, the we have 12 views of it. Oh. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, no, no, no. It's literally my hype. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one hyping it up being like, that's a fun podcast. <laughs> I think you're the <laughs> only person we've interviewed where you think we actually jerk the guys off. You're like, <laughs> I can't wait. It's like, no, it's a joke. Oh, uh, let me explain something to you. I uh, made up a false premise. Uh-huh. To be humorous, like yeah. a you know, like a 
comedian, you know? Like you this should guy? do that on stage, dude. You'd be I fucking great. Oh, I like how he specified like this guy and not you. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Suck hurts. my dick. You fucking suck it, comedy, you bitch. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I, I hope there's a demon in this fucking house. Yeah, fuck you guys. I hope, hope you wake up with it. That's where you go. No, nah, I hope you wake up there's with an There's any demon asshole. in here, it's fucking Chris, and he's a semen demon. That's what I'm talking semen about. Semen demon? Fuck, fuck oh, man, that didn't make sense. Mm. That's delightful, though. No, because um, you're gay. Was I? Oh, oh, I do okay. have news gl- about my uh, my sperm, though. Because uh, my <laughs> fiance and I... Because we've been asking for that. Go on, Steven. I know. I Finally! Can... Give the people what they want! <laughs> this is a jog exclusive. <laughs> so anyway... It prefers men. My uh, fiance uh, got cancer. Oh. Twice. From your semen? She got deadly cancer. Like, you're probably not going to survive. So go ahead and take precautions and set up your will and that sort of thing. Uh, twice. And then I met her after she f- survived both. But anyway, the idea... So uh, she's due for round three any day now. Dude, That's good. Ev- Everything's hanging over Let your head. Let me ask this lawyer, man. What's her life insurance oh, policy? Dude. They're not going to give her a good one. <laughs> That's the thing. So anyways, so like the idea is... Uh, like, dude, every woman in her family... No, you got to use the lightning doesn't strike twice defense. Lightning doesn't strike three <laughs> times totally. Except, except for... Uh, that's your uh, argument. It's aunt, like, there's no way she gets it again. Times. Her aunt got cancer three times, and her mom's on the second time, and she also got cancer twice. So, like, every woman... In but her is her aunt still cancer, alive? She, they're all alive! Then fucking life insurance... Hello? They keep getting cancer. They're champions. It's wild. So, anyway... She's uh, the fucking Nate Diaz of... <laughs> she's the Nate Diaz of cancer. It's just like, Diaz? you should have been knocked out a long fucking time uh, ago, but you just correct. keep she's coming beat, forward. You like, ever she beat why, cancer twice? Yes, dude. Like, deadly fucking... She got, um... Hodgkin's lymphoma? Uh-huh. Lot not... Lot not... Not of... They got... It was bad enough that uh, doctors recommended holistic treatment. Oh shit. Jesus Christ! Uh, yes. When they're like, I'm sa- they're like, hey, uh, it's uh, have, like, hey, go talk to cancer. a dude in a robe in Budapest. You, I don't know. <laughs> Light some incense have and burn some sage. Going figure vegan? it out, dude. Maybe vegan would work. <laughs> she went full vegan. I swear to God, she spent like a year of her life just trying to eat the right foods to not die of yeah, cancer. Fuck those doctors. You know what happened? They're just like they transferred her back to Ohio State the James and they cured her. No shit. Weird how science prevails again. No Weird. shit. Anyways, holistic why medicine did, can anyways, suck my dick. Why there are doctors that actually have degrees so... in the holistic side of medicine. That's a thing. That's your doctorate. I can't remember what it's called right now because somebody keeps feeding me my own drinks. You just really <laughs> brought the podcast down. Do, is there an I'm bringing it back this? up. I'm br- it, 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 no, what was my point? The whole I point remember. of the podcast is that you still continue to make jokes yeah, when yeah, somebody yeah. brings up Yeah, yeah. I don't want to joke about your fiancé dying of cancer, dude. I will, but I don't want to. Oh, no. What was my point? I don't remember. Oh, my sperm. Is it you're going to be coming into life insurance money soon? No, 0%. Fuck it. You're going to buy a way better bus, hopefully. <laughs> so uh you get the long sperm. you get the, long, sperm. you get the extended cap. I know. This don't, is don't, be a bit. This is don't, be a for, bit don't forget your sperm, but I'm just picturing you taking the money from her dying and okay. using it to revamp the bus. <laughs> and the thought of like that's where the money goes is so goddamn. He's like, funny. he's like, yeah, she passed away, but do you see these wanted. sick? It's what she would have wanted. <laughs> he's like, she's like, she would have wanted me to make my prison bus fucking dope as shit. Like it's. <laughs> He's like, yeah, like she, it's an episode of Pimp My Ride. She's like, yeah, she didn't make it, but do you see these sick neon lights? Neon dude? underglow. <laughs> There's like, a popcorn machine. I don't <laughs> like that we're calling her she. Dope. Uh, my cancerous fiance Cheryl. Yes. That's how I prefer to you guys to describe Cheryl. Cheryl. Yeah, that's what, what yeah. I call her when I cancer see her. Cheryl. Yeah, 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 cancer, yeah, cancer Cheryl. Cheryl. Yeah, yeah. If you could. <laughs> we call so, her Chernobyl Cheryl. <laughs> Chernobyl. <laughs> Put in two. All right, your sperm. Oh, my sperm. Uh, so. Uh, we no, that with... was a request. Give give me your sperm. Fucking earn it, bitch. <laughs> You're a so... woman. Get to the point. I want to hear about the sperm. I don't want to hear about the fuck go. Right, cut, cut, suck a dick. Um, he talked about his sperm. He's like, he brought up his girl having cancer. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't want to hear... Bumming me That's out. That's why we're talking to a fertility doctor. Uh, you just stepped on the plug and I missed... I'm listening There's no plug over here. Um, 
your sperm. So we were talking to a fertility doctor. This is going to be a bit in a minute, but uh, oh, we were talking minute. to <laughs> go on <laughs> talking to our fertility doctor, and I'm doing my very best to not be gay and make jokes of like during the whole thing because it's hilarious. You need that tattooed we're on your forehead to, at this point, dude. She got Jewish. With, she was so. There's no way she's not Jewish, and um, we're talking to her, and she's so hype about fertility. She she literally said to us. Hey, if I could just make everyone pregnant right now, like everyone in the world, so I don't have to worry about them. And we're like, that's the kind of intensity we're looking for. Of course, a Jew would only repopulate. <laughs> so they're low on numbers. Uh, Sounds more like a conservative Christian, but go on. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catholics are like that, too. That's why Catholics are into Jews. Uh, if I didn't have a cancer woman, I'd have a Jew. So <laughs> I'm. Where's the point? And can you get to it about your sperm? I don't think so. I don't think so. So she was talking to us and she's like, uh, okay, so moving on to, we've talked about, uh, uh, how you're definitely going to be infertile, Cheryl, for a long time. Uh, Steven, have you ever had your sperm tested or your sperm analyzed? And I literally couldn't beat the filter. I was trying my best. And the words that came out were so fast. And I would go, uh, not professionally. I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally that speed, because Cheryl ducked off screen. It was a Zoom call. She ducked so fast, and I'm like, oh, no. I didn't need the filter. You should have been like, I've had them taste tested. That's exactly That was the thing that I was saying. Like, have you ever had your sperm analyzed? Not professionally. You jackass. I'm sorry. Literally, she didn't even get it, because she's so deep into her world. She was like, oh, that was a joke. Oh, yikes. Uh, yeah, I thought... <laughs> oh, she said the word yikes. She said the word yikes. Did you tell oh, a, so you God. told a joke on your dying fiance's cancer Zoom call? Dude, there's... Yes! The hustle I don't can't stop, imagine dude. a worse kind of bomb than saying a joke about your sperm dealing with your wife's cancer and then the person's response is, oh, that was a joke. Yikes! <laughs> did you uh, did you immediately plug with? Anyways, I'll be at Juniors on May sixteenth. Blah 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 blah, and I'll be doing a five minutes at a shrunken head Monday through Friday. I right. listen. I thought that my bomb at Chameleon in Cincinnati was the worst bomb that anybody's ever experienced. That that is the worst bomb. Wow, dude! <laughs> That's pretty That's funny. So incredible. I find it she, pretty funny. She didn't even so know it happy. was a joke. Because she only knew once my fiance, Cheryl, who's seen me perform several times, she understands all of comedy against her will. Because I constantly <laughs> listen to podcasts and talk to her. She doesn't care to know as much as she knows. <laughs> yeah. She, I, I watched her on the screen go wide eyes and then off the screen. Just literally held her face away. And that was the only way that the fertility doctor knew. Oh... He Sorry. did bad. Are you guys trying to have kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying right now. Okay. Uh, we're. Statistically so how going is your semen? Yeah, I want it. Oh no, group. I'm killing it. Yeah, yeah. You're killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's. Oh. I assume due to like the treatments and stuff, she's probably gonna have a. Yeah, yeah. Low egg time. count probably. Oh, right. Her eggs probably have, like poached some, eggs have, at this point. Have, yeah, we have some some upside. Like she has uh, periods and the consistently consistency that you're supposed to. Which doesn't normally ha happen after you've had a bone marrow transplant, which she had because Jesus her life Christ. is very bad. Yeah. Yeah. What um, do you? That's what, that's where you have to be. About how old reality. are both of you? Uh, she is like nine months older than me, which is uh, an amount of time that I don't like to think about. But like I'm twenty eight and she's twenty nine. Okay. So are you wanting to have a boy or a girl for your first kid? Dude, boy would be so much more fun, but girl would be also very fun in a fun, challenging way because I have to teach her how the world works with a fuck you attitude. How great would it be? Like, I want a boy, so when she gets pregnant, she's like, it's a girl. It's like, can we abort this one and try again? <laughs> Dude, we literally can't because the egg count is so low. Like, we don't have that many. Oh, damn. That's the bitch. Yeah, that's the thing. So, what if that's what if you get the test and it comes back that the baby's retarded? Oh, well, you get art. Our you, fertility doctor actually recommended against that test because she knows you don't would abort have it. that many eggs, and also the test it's is like, medic. listen, the, the, you're gonna get a tarred baby almost no, no, no. definitely. The so don't is, test it because you're just gonna. You want to know some shit you didn't want to know? 
Um, <laughs> I hope you're, I feel like you're gonna tell us. You like, answered the question in the asking, but okay. <laughs> there's like a three percent chance normally, and with infertility problems, it goes up to five percent. Okay. So if the child, so like we're thinking uh, possibly in vitro. So we'll do the the hormones and the stab in the leg and all that stuff, and the, so that she produces eggs and they extract them and then they make. Anyways, uh, you can look up in vitro if you want. But the idea is with that, there's an up from three to five percent chance of, uh, what do they? They don't. They don't say it being. Uh, which part do they say? Um, Insufficient. No defect, birth defect. So it might be different than that. So it goes from three to five percent. The bitch of that is, if my first child has a birth defect. Whatever the difference between three to five percent, that's how much it is my fault. Oh, <laughs> damn, dude! So if you're sounding like, "Daddy, why am I in this way?" You're like, uh, "Me, dude. I fucked in my it's sperm." It's a little suck. bit me. It's like what? It, what? It, to forty percent? Forty percent, maybe my fault. Yeah, but like my <laughs> my understanding of uh, so just happened to be recently taking a lot of classes in college that deal with genetics. Uh, birth effects, mostly the woman's fault. So you don't get to blame yourself at all for that. It's no, no, all no. that chick's fault. Our fault for making the choice because the backup choice is adoption, which we've pretty no, much No, I'm saying into. genetically, we mostly could, the chick's fault. Have you thought about we the backup? We decided to not do this. Have you thought about, what it's, her, it's her and her. Listen. There's a backup backup choice of a new she girl. She respects my opinion, which makes it a little bit my you're, fault. You're, you're, <laughs> you're putting a kid, you're shooting a kid into a crack house. All right. I don't care for that at all, but continue. <laughs> I would say you're shooting a record, kid. Fuck this guy. Shooting I it. Go on. Basically, you're shooting your perfect white. Um, Stop calling my upper kids upper no, no, no. upper. Next point. Next part of the. You're shooting no, your it. white upper middle class sperm sure, into sure, sure. a microwave. Into, no, wait, what? Into Stop. a crack house. I don't care for you. And calling statistically my a crack hoping house. that's gonna. No, 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 no. Your fiance is not a crack house. You said shooting. Your into, fiance's womb literally... is a crack house. I don't care for but that. But hey, Steven. <laughs> Steven. That's my dick's favorite place. Steven. Oh, dude. Crack houses are a blast. But you know what's great? They're <laughs> so much fun. They're so much fun. Dude, but you know what's the Are they hospitable? <laughs> no. Not necessarily. Uh, In your defense, you could also fix a crack house up. You, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the, the parallel is not there. Because <laughs> you can't fix up this womb. Oh, you know well, what no, 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 no. The, the, uh, the I don't know, eggs put are a the new problem. P- the womb is solid. We can put a we new can coat of paint. Most the eggs that are the problem. The eggs, the eggs are the possible problem. Uh, my my fiance had. It's like setting up a play head. date with uh, in a really nice house. Your kid is awesome, perfect and then house. their kid is a fucking piece of shit. The house is Dude, gorgeous. The house is perfect, so it's not a crack are, house. Okay. The eggs are like having a rough go of it because they had to survive cancer. I'm They're so dumb that this house. is what I need to understand what's Dude, going on. Dude, just put a new fresh coat of paint on that pussy. Dude, you're good. It's not a crack house. It's anymore. not a thing. It makes no sense at all. Okay. Your, your metaphor makes no fucking sense. I know, um, like your girl's a pussy is a crack house. I know. I, we make so much sense on the fucking. Listen, there's not a show on HGTV called Womb Flippers, all right? There's not. <laughs> well, if there was. Womb Renovations, I'd watch it. okay? I watch, watch it. No, no, no. It's just Miss Frizzle. It's it's a really fucked <laughs> up episode. <laughs> You'd have to have a. a magic it's a spin off of the Magic School Bus. The Magic School Where they're just renovating fucking busted wombs. Hop so, on the Magic Womb Bus. The, <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, you beat me. I was gonna say Magic School Cunt, but that's, but that's, 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 that's funny. Magic that's Womb Cunt. All right. Come on, come on. So good. Magic Womb Cunt is the name of the episode for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So anyways, Arnie, I'm excited why are you carrying grenades? No, these are eggs. No, all right. <sighs> I'm excited to be a dad. Um the backup plan I was more excited about. We I like had to come to terms with the news that her womb is fucking great. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. And so if we get a donor egg, we can oh, make nice. an embryo and implant it, and she could be like the birth mother like and it's pretty cool she's about it like that's what she's dude i got she's like into. two dozen in the fridge right now if you fucking need one just let me know thank you that's Gross. how that works yes no no no. i'd want a good one but like yeah um so we're not gonna react to your your lady's eggs being gross all right moving on he's cool with that fact no her no i hope her eggs are rotten then we just it might to... be you dude are she on the pill 
Wait, is adopting a kid like picking up one from the pound where it's like no, pretty no, no. cheap? No, it's like uh, twenty uh, it's grand at the expensive. minimum. Ah, dude. damn it! Nah, you have to be a lawyer working three. You jobs. thought it was, you thought adopting kids like going to the <laughs> farmers market? Dude, like on a Sunday? No, no, no. I mean, you can find them. It's very funny to me that you could you be, a, be a lawyer with additional income and they could still be like, mm, I don't know. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent, dude. What do you want? <laughs> you think I can't charm a bitch out of their baby? <laughs> can't make one no here's the thing. i'm revealing all of my my podcast material but that's like, yeah you're all bumming me out dude so are you guys are you gonna be able to have a kid dude or not oh we're absolutely going to. so jesus yeah, christ that bro. was the thing that's the point i'm making is that like she song. can definitely carry and it'll have her mitochondria which is kind of fun and the thing i learned in high school you get your mitochondria it's the powerhouse, it's the powerhouse of the cell the i don't know if you do that cell, yeah. <laughs> so proud of you the guys. mighty mighty mouse mitochondria yep. the other fact about mitochondria is that you get your mitochondria from your mother it's not from the sperm or anything it comes from your mother yeah. so like even if this mother chondria yeah Oh, dude, she's getting her Here mom. No, don't you? That, that. That's I'm, not, I'm sure. not you're, you're not proud of it. If you no. need a reason to drink, dude, just fucking drink. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll cheer you. I we're trying. We're trying. Wasn't mother proud of mother Condria. We're trying to cheers the worst jokes in the history of podcast. I'm so proud of you for mother Condria. But that's a good way to remember that your mitochondria comes from your mother. So the thing is, like, I told her that, and she was like, "Ooh, like it warmed her heart that like if you carry this baby, it will be part you." Like this child's every single cell will be operated by your genes. How old like, is her you know, mom? How old is her mom? My mom or her mom? Her mom. Her mom uh, is probably in her 50s or pushing 50. Is she hot? Uh, could be if she tried, but she doesn't listen to podcasts, so I can say that. Uh, dude, she, she, why don't you just fuck her mom, dude? She, is her she mom church is also ugly? dying of cancer right now. It's a big thing oh, in our dude. lives. Would you consider her, like, church ugly? Where, like, she what? could, like, if she was, like, sluttier <laughs> and put in more of an effort to her appearance, she would be hot. But since she's like kind of like religious and strict, she's like super plain. There's a gr- there's a group of people that specifically have church face. Hello, my love. That's the worst time to take a call. Oh my god. Nah, you can go ahead and head home. Uh, we're talking uh up, don't about don't our say. fertility stuff right now don't on the podcast. Put it on speaker. We're rooting for you, Cheryl. This nigga's about to be sleeping in that bus. You see that long pause? No, that's okay. I'll let you know. And also, uh, magic womb. Yeah, bus. probably. But uh, it's gonna be a little bit. Magic womb bus. Also, these guys are super invested in magic our fertility cut. right now, and I'm. <laughs> it's been called the magic womb bus, which doesn't she make doesn't even get it. God perfect damn. sense, but it's it, it's right there. It, can you, you tell? Her, can you tell the episode drops in a month on Wednesday and just just to check it out? Okay, I love you. Bye. It is Wrong super. Number. It is super sweet that. Because I would like it during a podcast. I'm just like ignore this bitch. Like it is super sweet that you actually like answered it. Um, and by no, super I sweet, I mean super I fucking we rude we to answer our... it during the middle of a fucking podcast. Yeah, if we weren't talking about our womb, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have answered it because it made it Correct. made the bit funnier. It made the bit funnier. Fuck yeah, give me so, some. I don't. Where's know. your drink right now, just, you little bitch? I just drank it because your whole my goodness. sperm doesn't is that work why, in cancer. Children, is that why you? Give me some? Yeah, is that why you it. grew out fifty nine percent of a mustache so you could have a womb broom? No, that's <laughs> womb broom. Give me a shitty joke, clink. Um. No, it's because our wedding is coming up. That's a womb. Fiance, that's a womb brush. Oh yeah, why did you remove me from the group chat, you cunt? I removed everyone because okay. I wanted it to go away because everyone put their address in there, and not everyone should have their address in one singular place. Nope. Yes, it was a dumb way to do it, and I should have messaged you individually, but I wasn't thinking. Literally, two people also, thought to do that. Also, Toyloy and. I did not. I gave you my actual. Yeah. I texted you. I was like, I'm not putting my address in here. Yeah, Katie Humphreys was the only other one who was like, I'm not going to put my address in there with all of those gross men. I, I literally. <laughs> Fair I, enough. Here's, her. here's what happened with me. I had the conversation with a. I'm about to put my address into a massive group chat with a bunch of fucking strangers. You didn't have like, to. I didn't ask you to. I asked you for your address. That's just how lazy <laughs> Steven is. He says, hey, send me your address. But you didn't put 
separately. So there's dumb yeah, people. Yeah, no, do what you yeah. want. <laughs> so I don't want Brian Harris no what, more. I fucking dude, live, dude. Dude, the fuck hey, out tell here. me this. Uh, like, <clears throat> please explain this to me honestly. Why did you invite so many comics? Because like this is the I'm telling you right now, this is the first time you and I have spent any amount of time together outside of an open mic or a show. Why so, am I invited to your definitely wedding? Definitely not a show. So two, points, two points again. Everybody relax. You'll have comments between the points. Uh, first point, I like comedians for two reasons. One, because I think they're great people. I think they're awesome. They hang out. They're good people. I enjoy spending time with them. And two, because I think they're funny. Yale, I think, is funny. That's why I like Yale. I don't know if he's a good person. He might be terrible. You didn't hear Magic Fair Moon enough. Bus? I don't know. But he said, <laughs> back up um, your whole theory. but And uh, the second point is that uh, I invited people to the wedding based on how many invites we had left. Oh. And so. How uh, many people total? 200. Let me... So 200 people are invited to our wedding. Are you telling had... me that a third of the people coming to your wedding might be fucking comedians? <laughs> no. How many people did you think were in there? It looked like a fucking lot. Nah, like you gotta 30. remember, the other side, her family's dying of cancer, so he doesn't know if they'll be oh, there. Right. I don't know why they're all dying of cancer. You can't guarantee it Because it's genetic, be, It's genetic, dude. Literally, they keep doing the genetic testing and saying they're not eligible from further testing because it's not genetic. And I'm like, how the fuck is it not genetic? They're all getting cancer. Statistically, it's pretty fucking genetic. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they okay. all get the non-genetic so, version of breast cancer. And I'm like, this right. is so stupid. By the way, I looked at it and uh, you, you and I had a conversation where you're like, yeah, I think I'm going to need some people to like back out and not show up. It looks yeah, like I've based on the amount of people that RSVP. And I was like, 100%. listen to me. Is it still too late um, for me to RSVP? My no, no, no. We'll get real invites out soon. As, as soon as he said that, and I said, is it an open bar? You said yes. And I was like, I'm not backing out. Yep. <laughs> and I said the same thing. I, and I promise got not to the make chat. a scene. I, like, oh, I promise not to bother either of your families. Um, but if there's free alcohol involved, I will be there and I will drink excessively because you don't get is free alcohol enough, very Is there enough room for a podcast set up there? Maybe <laughs> if you're lucky, you get free alcohol once or twice a year. If you're lucky. Unless you're Dude. fucking going on a diet, you get free drinks I'm, for the I'm whole month that you can't fucking drink. Circles. I get several weddings a year now. Oh, yeah. Well, you have to, people have to be like professional. In other jobs, some fucking people don't have shit. to courtesy invite. That's the thing. People don't have to courtesy um, invite. I'm not courtesy inviting uh, comedians. I genuinely want comedians. Because, like, I think you guys are listen, my friends. Listen. It's silly. We haven't talked much, but I legit consider us friends. Okay. I've hung out with you. But also, it doesn't take much. You I have saw, to not be a dick and be around me, and that's it. I saw the names. I was accused of, of spilling gas in your truck, which I didn't spill till this fucking day. No, I'm okay with it. I, I keep a spill. can of gas in the back seat of my truck. You're not on trial here. I no, am. no, no. I didn't spill that fucking gas. Fuck her. I, didn't spill that <laughs> I, I saw the names of some of the people along that wait, list wait, wait. of invitations, and I'm Don't not going to hold back right now. No. Don't hold back. Tell oh. me who you were surprised I'm friends with. Because I'm friends. I'm not I'll surprised friends friend. with your 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 thought process on like I like comedians. I want them to come out. Some comedians are gonna create a fucking problem. Yup. At a wedding. Yup. And you, yeah, you have do. to know that some of the people invited are probably gonna cause a fucking problem. What are, are their... you out of alcohol? You're not gonna say who. Yeah, just say the names, dude. They don't listen to the fucking podcast. I invited. No. I've already done this math. I've decided who's worth it. Because some people are going to cause bigger problems and they're not invited. Mm. Think about who would cause the biggest problem problems in the Columbus community. They're not invited. I, got a, I immediately thought of one name. Yeah, they're not <laughs> invited. You're of the same. Hold on. It is what it is. Hold on. Let's see Don't who knows say names sign on language. That list. I don't know sign language. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's a cunt. <laughs> she, she accused, okay. That's actually the one who accused me of spilling gas in the back of your truck. Wait. He's kidding. It's not Joe Higgins. I'll tell you that. It's not her. It's a d different name. I don't know who you're talking about, but everyone who was in the vehicle at that time is invited. Fuck. Oh, you should no. uninvite this. Dude, it's your wedding, dude. I don't fucking. 
Okay. Anyways. All right. As as we're discussing the next topic, I'm gonna write down something. You have a, a new gay. Nope. Legend in the NBA. Remember. <laughs> No, she's hella invited. I love her. Oh, you're a... You know why? You're a dumbass and a piece of shit. 100%. Um, she won't cause a problem. Yes, she, she will. Name one. Off camera, I would tell you multiple. Uh, yeah. What? I Okay, maybe it's me. Maybe I coincidentally haven't seen a real problem. Yeah, several real problems. Every That's fucking... That's a weird lineup. Also, also, uh, Cheryl's first friend in Columbus Comedy. Because she's attracted to problems. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Uh, Don't you touch that mic. You, you, you know what? You know what? You know what? I have another point. You know what? Go ahead. I'm going to say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have another point to follow it. It'll be even more fun. This guy and his fucking points. God damn it. Uh, I, like a car salesman with your two point I haven't even said that would thing. kill it as a car salesman. I know you would. I would buy your I haven't even you. said it. Your bus, and I already bad. feel bad. Let's go. What? Don't be a bitch. This is hour two. This is the drunk hour. You haven't made me a third, fourth drink. Yeah, you know what? You say it if he says nigger. It's it's <laughs> it's the fact that she likes somebody like this. Uh-huh. That's why God gave her cancer. Ha! Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> I want to take it a step further. That lets you know. That I want you to keep in mind <laughs> that <laughs> I tried to back out of it, and you forced me to continue. <laughs> Here's the thing, I. I am not unaware of who this benchmark. woman is. I want, you, I want you to compare the two cocktails. I prefer... No, no, no. I do prefer the benchmark. The Four Roses was much smoother, much sweeter. That's a way better you sipping need, drink. You need uh, spice for uh, for uh, Old Fashioned. Um, I disagree. I, I think happy bourbons go better than rice. I am happy you're trying to have a kid, though. I, mean, I think that's the a sweetness bourbon. complements each other. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Um, her... Yeah, you stupid bitch. Okay, so <laughs> you think that person uh, is a problem? I will tell you. Quite literally. Yep, yep, yep. All the time. There's multiple no, I comics understand. that you respect, by the way. I'll bring up afterwards who will tell you why they're a problem. I haven't heard enough stories. It sounds. Have like you heard it. of True Real? He has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> True Real. True Real has a problem with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that night. I think I was um, not there for. Oh, that I night. love that night. Dude, I love I love anytime I need an ice cube. Um I don't have any on me. Is it's all out. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah, have an ice cubes in your pocket, there. dude. Damn. Come on. Um Oh, her uh not a comedian, her maid of honor. Same kind of problem. Oh it's a Here's the thing, if I was a single guy, I would be so excited about this wedding. Because I was like, there's definitely going to be at least six there women are... that I can fuck. <laughs> six I did just, yeah. just just hearing about the interactions, I was like, there's at least six women that I can fuck. You might fuck. be right. Is this ready? <laughs> yeah, other than um, other than your precious ice cube. I do like an ice cube. I do um, too. Because it no. waters down the benchmark. <laughs> she, yes. I'll call her out by name because she's never, never, do ever not. going to watch this. Don't be me. I'll send it to her. But here's Leah? the thing. The mean, Do- name means nothing to us, so... Yeah, yeah. You have Leah. nothing to gain. <laughs> Leah is a silly nonsense person. Okay. Um, She is uh, what you picture when you picture... Uh, the the girl with the the tattoos that makes bad decisions. That's usually hot. Is she hot? No. Um, oh. She has hot girl <laughs> problems. Oh no, the girl that acts like a hot girl but isn't even remotely close to a yeah, hot girl. Yeah, she's like, uh-huh. "Why are men always trash?" And I'm like, "Cuz you only associate with trash." And you weigh a, that's you always weigh, the and rule. you weigh a solid 210. And that's, that's and the funny to... thing is like my fiance is like the best person that exists. You're like if you've sure met her, super nice. No. She's way better. My than girlfriend's me. the best person that exists. First off, I'll fuck fight both. you for her honor. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to see them fight because it would be a real man fight. Mm, hold like, on is your I feel oh like, I take Tanya your girlfriend has cancer dude I take Tanya yeah I was gonna she say she had Tanya. cancer now she climbs and works out every day yeah but like the cancer had to take fucking a toll on the bones fucking farm girl she's a farm girl yeah but Tanya's like dude she's rooting for Ukraine I'm excited dude. For we're talking argument. we're talking about third world Tanya no, no, we're talking make the about pitch for Tanya I want to hear it dude, dude Tanya dude if I was, this is like my dad versus your dad shit first off my fiance versus yours you know, I love it has Tanya tra- knows how to operate it and is how much? Just say Fuck Russian, it. dude. Way Fuck. stronger than you expect, and 
Russian and Eastern European blood. Do, need I say more? I mean, it's pretty good. I'm excited for the pitch. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean trained in boxing? How much training? And be honest. Don't don't oversell it. Can she beat up a man? <laughs> That's not what I'm asking. Oh, okay. My no bad, one thinks bad. that. Okay. But go ahead. She doesn't have to to beat. Like you don't have to beat up a man to beat Cheryl. Like if she punched you in the arm and argued, Cheryl, would you Cheryl be like, will I... get beat by every man. That's okay. That's not the standard. Can all... she? <laughs> can she beat up a man? I can she beat up I... a, a woman who's a little bit lanky but works out. <laughs> I don't know. Can. Can any Hollywood person come out as positive for Trump? Can any person with a mainstream Hollywood Wait, career no. say like, hey, I voted for Trump? So no. Can any three-year-old do complex calculations? Is it comparison no. to your, okay, your fair No. Fucking fair no. Are you guys engaged? No. Living together? Ye. Okay. They're an so if an accident happens, it's baby mama level. Minus Yee. the baby, but you know. <laughs> I'm trying to. It's weird because, like, we. If uh, anything happens, do you have baby, I, baby mama drama? We've been together like a year and a half, like dating total. So. That's about right. Oh, my what? first off, as a betting man, for what proposal? You guys are yeah. arguing. No, let me. No. let me be on the. Can I, no, my, my no. before that was was three with no proposal. That's fair. Let me as a betting. You don't have to. As no, a no, betting. That on you. As a betting man. I'm going to take the girl who doesn't have cancer. <laughs> she doesn't anymore. She beat it. Yeah, Listen, she beat cancer here's, twice. Here's, here's, here's our strategy. strategy. That takes here's a toll on the body. Here's our strategy, and it's the same the strategy as when I have to fight my dad. You're just going to dance <laughs> along the outside and wait for time to take over. <laughs> <laughs> no, my father no. will cramp up if he has to move around for longer than 30 seconds. Her... Round three of fucking cancer. Dude. I was like, Tanya, just dance along the outside. Get good head movement. Fucking Dude, just tell Tanya to walk in the ring with a running microwave, dude. Your girl's going to Let her crumble, fucking dude. lean up against the fucking ropes. T let her tire herself out. What is she When at? she's tired, bam, that's when the cancer strikes. Shit talk. And that's Work the body and be like, hey, I'm punching your baby maker. There you go. Weight yes. class. What does she weigh? Don't say that. The fact that you're not, Do not supposed say that to know. Right you're not supposed to know, but literally everyone I knows. know precisely what she weighs because we're Cause in the fucking scale is a snitch. Because we're in the weight, weight loss and journey and together, and I see exactly what she weighs. Uh -huh. And she, you well, you said that too confidently. Is, How much does Cheryl weigh first? And then we can gauge off that weight. I don't know for sure. Buck Cheryl, forty. But I'm gonna say buck thirty. Buck thirty. Yeah, that's probably the range. Probably. She's four hundred dollars on Tanya. I'm taking pretty... Tanya, dude. Okay. And Tanya, fair enough. Tanya calls me a pussy. We don't have to meet up at a weight, right? No, no, no. I just, I'm curious to see. Oh, what fucking it every cent on Tanya, dude. It's not a <laughs> every <laughs> fucking yo, cent on Tanya. Yo, it's not a sanction. My Boxing entire match. net. Cheryl's, listen Cheryl's to me. Reach. I, 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 I understand that when I say my net worth, it sounds small, but I've eliminated all debt. I have zero debt, so What's everything up? that I have is fucking net worth. So. My entire net worth on Tanya. She's gonna beat the shit out of your fiance <laughs> and her and her fucking rotten fucking eggs. <laughs> she's no! gonna fuck her up. <laughs> she's gonna punch her in the pussy. Stop! She's sensitive <laughs> about that. <laughs> she's gonna give her an uppercut and it's You're fucking not... over, son. Oh, dude, I'm already I'm already thinking hey, of Tanya's pristine womb, pristine womb, incredible as, as womb. As far as you know, as far as you know, incredible womb. Bad batch of eggs. It's fine. You can fix that. Dude, I already think I'm already thinking of promos. Green eggs, green eggs and ham versus Tanya no. with the hands. We already got it. We're about to no, fuck no, no. it. Green eggs versus ham. She's got her in the weight oh, class. Oh, that's I was not trying to do this. <laughs> All right. That's actually better. Green eggs versus ham. <laughs> and then you can still throw in Sam I am because they're both retarded. <laughs> <laughs> this is what pieces of shit we are. This is the true encapsulation of what pieces of shit we are. It's because <laughs> your fiance is such a genuinely sweet woman. They're and we've spent an inordinate person. amount of time she this is... episode saying mean shit about her. Cheryl is I love nice. her. Tanya's She's nice. so love nice. Her. There's no reason to talk shit about her, but we can't help ourselves. That's how shitty we are. we are. We made up a fake boxing match for them. That's not how it happened. Damn it. Every time Cheryl comes to a show, people go, oh, Cheryl's here. 
People get giddy about Cheryl Same coming. with Tanya. Yeah. Same with fucking Tanya. People fucking love Tanya. Because people love people who love assholes. They're like, they're damn. The proof, ah. They're the proof that we're not real pieces of shit. Because you and I have to push the envelope. Otherwise, we're basic as shit. Like, people That's look at us in the face and they're like, That's a good point, oh, yeah. are you going to try and do silly stuff or are you going to bring it? Like, if I try to be silly oh, on yes, stage, Oh, yes, bring your silly ha-has to us, basic white man. No one wants it. I've tried silly jokes, silly nonsense. Nobody fucking wants that. Yeah. God, I've tried it. You to be fair, nobody it. wants the rest of your set either. <laughs> I was waiting for you to. <laughs> hey, hey, I went up with the funny bone for the first time. It went very well. You had a good set. We really actually, well. we the really fucking, you had a really good set. I was very excited. And I didn't even get to the good stuff. I was so excited. You didn't no, have actually, it. Actually, it's, it's either the episode that I just put out or the episode that's coming out next week. We actually sucked your dick a little bit about your funny bone set. Thank so. you. I did. I mean, I have, like, it's not like I haven't worked hard. Like, I did all the, the work. Yeah, no, to you've been doing what, the like, same five not, minute set for like three years. For now. a long time. So I do the it, same it should setup be, it should and be the same good. finish, and then I yeah. try out four jokes. I mean, I did week, have a better set than you that night, and it was like almost a brand new five minutes. But oh, still, that, like, pretty, pretty, pretty okay, man. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I didn't listen now. to yours and I feel bad because I, well, it was my first set, so I was all grumbly about it. Like my stomach was turning because I'm like, that's a lot of people and this I don't want to fuck it up, but also yeah. fuck these people because that's my mantra is like, fuck mm-hmm, these people. Yeah. They don't know what's coming. I don't respect them. Uh, they're in for a treat. That's, those are the things that I say over and over again before I go up is like, they don't fucking know comedy. What's up? Let's go. And yeah. after set, they, they didn't know what comedy thing. was. And then he yeah, went on and fucking... <laughs> I taught them oh, what yikes. comedy he was. He went up first yeah. and I went up like three after him. But yeah, I follow. That's how forgettable you are. Hey, God damn. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know you went up first. Dude, I'm very... I did not know. I assume... So, so here's this the thing. This shit talking so I had, is my favorite. I, had I, just, I want to watch it. The, like... the number of people necessary for me to go up. Mm-hmm. And uh, they told me... Because it's the only way to tell. If you don't listen to every set and see how it punches, you have to compare yourself to how other people set went in front of the same audience. Otherwise, there's no... If you think you got laughs, but you didn't listen to anyone else, then you don't know how you did. Mm-hmm. So I like went to them and I asked for the feedback that they didn't want to give because they're friends. And they were like... You don't talk to Yale enough because you'll give the most honest feedback to <laughs> No, he, yeah. he gets his feelings hurt regularly. No, I go like, home and I'm like, I was like, you're a good comic, so I'm not gonna horseshit you. I don't have to be like, oh, that was good. No, he'll literally, right which I fucking hate about Correct. you because you'll key point. I, I'm like, I thought I guess I was like, no, that one joke he told. I was like, I thought it was good. And I go home and listen. I was like, I'm not gonna Correct. tell him this, Correct. but he's fucking right. That joke sucks. <laughs> real feedback. Fucking joke sucks. If you hang your hat on anything other than real feedback, you're gonna be a shitty comedian forever. Um, yeah, so all I heard was there was this one black guy who did amazing and you didn't have a chance against him because he was black. And I'm like, that's not great feedback, but fair enough. Dick Dickerson was, is fucking funny as fuck. That's exactly Nobody was, was beating him that night. Nobody was, Nobody was beating him that night. Exactly. Him. And I, uh, I don't hold that against anything, but also... I still intend to beat him in the future. Fuck that. I don't I don't want to be beat by him. Yeah, that's, how you, that's the attitude you should have. Yeah. You and won't, then, but I mean, have that attitude. I was like, are you going to live to be... Correct. The attitude are you a vampire? <laughs> are you going to live forever? The attitude to get better is the only important thing. Everything else Absolutely. is garbage. Everything else is garbage. Um, if you're like, I got something, fuck that joke. Yeah. Um, the other thing was, there was that other white guy, and I'm like... <laughs> there was yeah, that yeah, other yeah. white guy. It was yeah. definitely you. They didn't know who it was, but That's there was how, that like, other white... Yeah, every time, like, with, like... I don't know how many times at, like, Red Rock and... Uh, mm-hmm. Like, it's... We've Mostly been referred Red to Rock. as, like... You and I are the same in the eyes of many audiences. In the eyes of them. I think... Um, We're white guys who don't give a fuck. I, I, I think both of us have each been, like... Oh no! I hey, remember. Fuck you! We're not the same guy. I, I no. I remember going up at Red Rock, and being uh, you had a really good set. You went up before me. You had a good set at Red Rock, and I was very impressed. Um, and then Hassan brought me up as his favorite white guy, and I was like, "You hear that, Stephen? I'm his favorite white guy. <laughs> fuck you, you piece of shit." And that's exactly how I said it. And that's Correct. exactly. I was like. 
Suck my dick, you basic white bitch. <laughs> I love this white on white hate in comedy. It's awesome. Dude, that's what it is. And you I, guys beef way different than niggas do. Because you're like, you know what? No, no, bro. You had a great set and they were talking about you, but like I was better. And you're like, but no, I had it. That's the best way to do it. Um because you're not gonna say that somebody sucked and you were better. Fuck that. That's not good. <laughs> no, no you it's a thing. It. You and I have a separate thing going on than other comedians. And it and we didn't choose it and we're both upset about it. But, like, it keeps happening. We're both in the same range. You, Your delivery is way different than mine. We're no, it's different, literally the, we're the only the people, the only whites that consistently go to, like, black mics and black shows. Like, that's, well, that that's it. Yeah, that that's first. that's not, it's not like a crazy Oh, so you guys have done out. Beyond the Bricks recently. I have. I haven't done Beyond the Bricks I, recently. I have. Fuck off. I've done it a bunch of times. I've done it twice. I hate I that love. Room. It's probably about five, but yeah, you're not that wrong. I didn't go. I didn't go last Tuesday. Um, no, I just I just saw that. Uh, I do love Beyond the Bricks. They give amazing feedback. If your joke sucks in front of black people, I'm not gonna do it in front of white people. If it's dude, like a race joke, I'm not gonna fucking so far, do it in front of white so people. So far, my favorite, of, my favorite like good. feedback and determination of jokes has been J and D's. How old are you? Oh, you're under thirty. So J and D's you can't go to technically. What? Is that not? No, that's Jordan's old one. Oh, was it Jack? I don't. I'm not old enough. What are we talking it's about? It's something like that. I don't know what we're talking high. about. So Where there's is a it? club. Aaron Petway had it. I've only been there twice, I think. Um, and he was running uh, a show at this bar. It was a thirty and up bar. Literally, you can't get in unless you're thirty. That's literal. And it no was one mostly... has sued him. That's amazing. That's literal discrimination. You can't and, do that. And it's That's so cool. Um. So. But it's, and it's mostly black, so it's all, like, older black people. And, dude, I love they, people. like, they hold, they don't hold on to shit. Joke bombs, joke bombs. Next joke hits, next joke fucking hits. Dude, that's what I love they, about black audiences. They, no, it's, They give and you it's every older. chance and they I stay remember, with you like, waiting I, for So I joke. started doing, like, a dirty joke. And it wasn't working. I got to the end of the dirty joke. And from the back of here, you're doing too much. <laughs> and I was like, that's dead on. For all right. All right. On. I'm doing too much. Okay. Got it. And it was just like, <laughs> I loved it because it is the most perfect, honest feedback about jokes. So it's like, you can capture magic in a night where it's like, you can over and like, you can get a joke to hit that maybe that's shouldn't be hitting. And it was like this joke isn't finished. This joke isn't smart. It's not polished. It's it's you know not super funny. It's just it's working in the room that night. And then like it's not working. You're trying to figure that shit out. This audience was so fucking honest. It's like this is the fucking metric. This is the testing ground. This is perfect. There's nothing better. There's nothing more honest. That's what I love about a, a black audience. And, like, it feels weird saying a black audience or a black room or whatever, but it's literally true. It's a it's, thing. It shouldn't. No. They're, it's, they're, it's they're thing. genuinely better. It's better. And the reason is, well, there's two things you can get out of it. I'm about to make two points, so feel free to, feel free to interrupt. The first point is that, like, you can get the perspective of people who aren't white women. Because everyone's afraid of white women. White, white women are afraid young, of everything. Young white women are the worst audience that you can possibly have. A hundred percent. I hate all yes. of you. I did my worst bombing and fucking butt fuck nowhere in front of a wall. White it's a thing. Audience, it hurt. It's a thing. Ten you minutes. You suck. Ten Gain minutes a sense of, of humor. bombing. Ten. Stop being afraid to laugh at things. Gain a sense of humor. Fuck you. Correct. I stand by everything he said. I endorse it. And then the other thing is that a black audience is fully responsive they exactly mean what they laugh at they they laugh when it's funny and they do not give any pity laughs mm. there's nothing nope. if like you hit even a punchline right in the right timing no fuck you if it's funny it's funny even if, if it's, it's their not, friend they will not give a pity that's laugh. that's not hold on that's not completely true it's because true if you if you bring up something uh, bring up a topic you can absolutely simply mention a topic that you know that they're gonna enjoy and get a collective response maybe not that's, a laugh no, no, no. That's but a get a get that's a clapter, a, fuck clapter. yes i i agree okay but it is absolutely a tool where you're like hey 
this thing that we all know about am i right and they're like yeah you can absolutely get them to do that you've learned something and that's the thing i've learned about i have this thing where you guys have both seen it i've done it for a while now where i go um uh it's part of that that high energy thing that i did for a minute to try it out where i was like uh i have black friends for the first time and i don't care how many or oh, i fucked it up uh i have i don't care how uncomfortable it makes white people i have black friends for the first time and i want to talk about it and i've gotten fucking applause breaks out of black audiences because mm-hmm. they're like fuck yes white people don't know anything about black people and it's exciting that you are just now learning about black culture um i've also had almost nothing because i let into it wrong at a black audience um yeah. It's a thing. They they will ride with you if it's interesting to them and if you set it up right. And if you don't, then they're like, nah, fuck you. I'm not into the it. Number- but they'll come back. You can bomb for a good 30 seconds, which is a long time to bomb. And then they'll still be waiting for you to hit a punchline and come right back. The, the number one thing that I've seen is that, like, uh, as far as your introduction goes, if you can fucking oh. roast... If you can roast at all, that buys oh, you yeah. that so does, yeah, much. You, you like, a lot of, yeah. so talking a little roasting. shit about the host, talking a little shit about the audience, anything like that, that buys you so fucking much. I'm so glad to have an hour or so before I go up in front of any roast type audience. Because it's Because you get to and sick and you get you to, to sit and look it. at the audience and exactly. you're like Exactly. Oh. That's why like, people tell me, like, your crowd work is so funny. I was like, that shit has all decided before I walk up yeah, there. Yeah, it took, for, took it's me that, forever. And you pretend I'm not like you that just quick. thought of it. I am Correct. not that fucking quick. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, it's so hard. Because I've, I've had black audiences where I've killed in the first 30 seconds off of shit that I observed in the half hour before I went up. And then lost them immediately in, as soon as I started into my material. Because my material was not fucking good for them. They didn't give a shit. And, like, my crowd work and my observational shit, usually the best observational shit is about how white I am. Because I'm very white. Like, yeah. you come off differently than I do. I come off as a white guy who's never met a black person. You come off as a white guy who's aggressive <laughs> as shit. I do not come off aggressive at all. It's, uh, so you, did you grow up in the city? No. A Where'd little bit. I did for a minute, but not that much. I, I went, I was born in Barberton, Ohio, which is right outside of Akron. Plenty of black people around. I went to a Catholic school while I was there. And mm. then I moved up to Minnesota. Or I moved to Pennsylvania. Appalachia. Middle of nowhere. Uh, for <laughs> for a year. Which is all white Chosen people. Accent. And then I moved up to uh, Minnesota. Uh, which is a big graduating class. But all Minneapolis I feel like you people. absorbed all of your personality so from minnesota a lot of minnesota <laughs> middle school is where you absorb your personality it's a thing no that's absolutely Dude, true I i'd be racist as Minnes- fuck if I did minnesota that. accent i could do the minnesota anytime it's no problem i can do minnesota anybody I can do, can Canada, do that sorry i can it's, do all of it Wisconsin, it's not that it's not that difficult to do don't <laughs> fuck you i have one talent don't take it from me <laughs> it's, it's all i have it's not it's all i fucking have you it's, piece of shit it's not comedy. I can do that, and I can do Boston, and that's about it. I can't do other accents. They're so do hard. Do your Boston one. Boston? I love... Pac- well, I mean, you start in with Park the Car and the Hobbit Yard, and then you can do Boston. You can say, fuck. Fuck is the best in the Boston accent. That's it. You park the fucking uh, car in the fucking Hobbit Yard. That's it. And you do out the it's, same okay, words. It's so I feel like it's like, yeah, it's just... Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing over and yeah, over. Maybe don't I'm not amazing cl- at it. Maybe don't claim you can do something without being prompted by it. It's if you can only cock, do one retard. phrase in it. I mean... Bass and Harvard. Car park. Uh, Cat- yeah, he's <laughs> equally as good as you already. Uh, he's <laughs> none of the you- white races that I am. <laughs> I, just did, I just did the key word you threw out. One of the whites the he's best, mixed yeah. with has got to be close, right? <laughs> Come on. Any white is pretty close to Boston. Yeah, can you say nigger for, for the fun? <laughs> nah, you saw. Yeah, hold on. Let's do an audio test again. real quick. Hey, just real quick. Just say say, say what you said earlier off just the podcast, you, dude. Just, just real quick. Never just real again. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. I've grown. I've changed. No, oh, that'd be great. I tried. I don't say nigger no more. Dude, you were there never that again. one time that I accidentally. I've never accidentally said the. Oh yeah, you wild. did a rap, but you said nigger, which is different. Dude, no, it wasn't. You know what you're rapping? No, 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 no. He didn't say. He didn't say. I he was. Didn't say, he, didn't, he almost. He didn't. He you ever say. been drunk? 
and like repeating someone said because you were laughing so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, N- I never it? dropped the end bomb unless I knew for sure everybody was cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> I did the one time. It was at Money G's. After a show, it was at Money G's, and Money G makes me laugh so fucking hard because his shit doesn't make any fucking sense, no, and I love some... that. No, his roasts, his jokes are Mad Libs. I'm saying it's just you, Mad you Libs. You plug in any noun, and, any noun and adjective just set into a formulaic sentence, and that's what you're saying. It makes me laugh so this hard. This motherfucker looking like a blank with a blank on his blank. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Correct. And that nonsense makes me laugh so hard. And he was rattling those off, and I was getting more and more drunk, and I was just like, ah, he said burpee. And I did that one time, and I went, oh, no. And Toiler looked at me like, oh. Yes! Correction! Say it again! He didn't repeat what Money said. He said, Can you believe this nigga said? <gasps> I did not. Fuck you. I did not say that. It's on I repeated film. what he said. F- it's on film. It doesn't make it true. Toy Lloyd confirmed it. He I said, Can you believe this nigga Money G said? I, did I was like, not. What? <laughs> I'm so mad that this, he didn't back me up just now. You were there. Dude, you're always allowed to say nigga around me. I, it's not on the camera. Real, I don't know. So that's I don't, the point that I want to no. make is that Toy Loi immediately was like, say it again. Do it. Say it again. It's I fine. was so you excited, have my permission. dude. Say it again. No, but I have absolutely been like uh, pretending to know all the lyrics in a rap song and mumbling <laughs> along with it and just being like, and then people being like, hey, whoa. And I'm like, what? Was it like, Tiger? You just, you just dropped a fucking <laughs> N bomb. And I was like, no, I didn't. I said, no, no, no. And they're like, motherfucker, no, no, no. I heard you saying every word. And I was like, and then I had to say the more embarrassing thing where I was like, I was pretending to know the words. I was just mumbling. I don't know what they are. <laughs> it's not an end bomb. Like, did, I a, say, a, did I say a bad word? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> I can't say neget. That's insane. I got to be honest. I would have rather known the words and dropped an end bomb than not known the words and tried to pretend like I knew them. So much more embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. You'd rather nail the lyric. Like, no, no, no. I love black music. I almost, I almost got the shit beat out of me because I was singing uh, all the words to country grammar in, in the gym. gym. Yeah. yeah, and it sucks. The best workout you music is black. That. Did I? No, someone else did. The best workout music, music is black music. And it's they said pretty boys can't be wild, loud, okay, correct, foul. I mean, it, literally every <laughs> line I ends with it. I you did a bit at one point. I might have, I might have tried that. You might have tried. Uh, if, you try, if you're anything like me, if you try a bit and it doesn't work the first time, you're like, fuck that bit. I don't even like it that anyway. That bit's gay. I hate it. Yeah, I hate it forever. Bit. I have to really love it to keep trying it if it doesn't work the first 100%. time. I have to really fucking love it. 100%. I want to start a podcast that is all about uh, the N word, failed bits. Oh, failed bits, bits you want to try. Honestly, that could be a whole podcast, though. You're not wrong. You'd have to host it, not me. If I hosted it, it'd be a fucking weird podcast. I, I gotta pick one of you <laughs> as a co-host so I can get some views. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, fair enough. You're fair enough. Fair enough. The N word podcast is you or yo's face. That'd be great. So many people would click. N word jokes podcast. <laughs> Looking. Inward. Yeah. I do want to. <laughs> no, <literally good>. Looking <laughs> inward. <laughs> a link. You're not drinking anymore. That's the Asian side. Yeah. No. Fucking, I, hey, get another drink, figure. I I might have to go on. I, I'm not going to any mics tonight. Go I'm on. Go home. No. Nope. Go on. Cheryl will give you a ride. Go on. Huh? Cheryl will give you a ride. <sighs> I want to get there. She on. will. The lady who we just made severely harsh jokes about is going to give you a ride. You so guys, if you I don't, all of us. if you make don't any harsh fucking jokes pick up that alcohol and take a drink of it, we're going to be very upset with you. Will she make it to my house? That's all. I'm yeah, for sure. Okay. She just got off work recently. That's when how, she called me. I don't know how far <laughs> is the rest. I want to make it home. Where she, did you park? Oh, right outside. Did you park in guest parking? No. Did you bring right. the Did you bring the Before bus? Whatever happens, make sure you're in the, the guest parking. She all might have to move my truck to guest parking. I can I can move it if you need to move it. It's not It's not a big deal. But we'll I can talk move about it that just after. as well as you can. But also, my country ass fiance can reverse park a truck. Good for her. What the fuck's the point in having Listen, a country ass dude, fiance? Okay, so I cannot explain this, but my girlfriend is the world's shittiest driver absolutely amazing at parallel parking better than me oh, at, oh. better than me at parallel parking 
dog shit in every other aspect of driving. She Changing a lane, she panics. What? Parallel parking, she does it in one swoop every time. Did she, she used to live on a street camera? where you had to parallel park? The camera? Uh, she does on her car. Well, there That's is. a weird thing. I can't park my fiance's car. She has a reverse camera. I don't know how to work it. I don't give a fuck. I just want to turn her mirrors down to the, the ground to see. I can't but, park it. Uh, reverse cameras or no, I it doesn't compute how good she is at one thing and how bad she sucks at everything else. You shouldn't have trouble changing a lane. You shouldn't panic when you're trying to uh, make a left-hand turn. Hey, you want to she panics and like is scared as if she's getting her learner's permit in every other aspect of driving. Parallel parking, she whips it in like she's been driving for 43 years. And that's her job. She used to live at a place where she had to driving. parallel park all the time? I don't know. I can't explain it. She, wait, wait. she has one exactly specific skill, and that's it. You don't know somebody until you know their trauma. What is her trauma? I've asked. How is it related? I've, I've asked, I was like, why are you so good at this? She's like, I don't... No, 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 that's not what I said. What is her trauma? Do you know her? Everyone has one thing that was the hardest thing they've ever dealt with. I ha- I felt a wave I, I... crash over me on our first date when I accidentally made a cancer joke and my fiance goes, haha, that's funny because I had cancer. And I go, oh, what? And a wave crashed over me. When that was I realized... your opening line on a date, you idiot? No, it was like mid, mid-date. And also, the, we're getting married, so don't take any credit from me because I clearly nailed it. You'll get, you'll, uh, be, you'll be single before you know it. We're going. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, she's down. She understands. Chris uh, is making a move on me. your fiance. Apparently, I don't know. He's I'm not, not wrong. She's delightful. She's an amazing woman. And she's but... working on. She's working out to maintain her That's figure like, for the wedding like, dress. Like he's... she's a boss. Why don't you do the same there, Tubby? What are you, what are you doing? Because he's have cancer, dude. Really hard lately. <laughs> been making a lot of money and it's really detracting i uh, thought i might bring this up dude i have been working overtime a lot it's i work from home it's on a couch okay i've been spending 14 hours a day on the couch making overtime okay at two different jobs so 25 an hour at two different jobs one of them paying 37 50 i've been making fucking bank right and not moving at all getting fat but do you have a down do you have a ps5 you're not making that much money, dude. <laughs> You're not making this much, you thought. I, You're sitting on a couch and you I'll show don't you have my a finances. PS5. I keep a budget like a motherfucker. We're on it. You don't have a PS5. I'm not. I'm not Listen, dude. Shit. It's it's not medieval times where you show your wealth by how fat you are. <laughs> That's literally where I'm at right now. <laughs> literally, I'm so fat because of how much money I'm making. <laughs> God damn it! I'm upset. <laughs> I'm laughing about how sad I am. Yeah, this is sad. This, got this is how every <laughs> podcast of ours ends, actually. It's like, oh my god! Uh, I am sad and laughing. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. You sit on a couch for 14 hours, dude. Dude, a lot lately. That's... You haven't seen me in a minute. I haven't been out at comedy. Yeah, you kind of disappeared for a little bit. Yeah. Dude. I've been fucking work. I've been making money. The scene didn't notice at all, but I'm glad to see you back though. It's bullshit because every time I come back, people will go, "I haven't seen you in a minute." The two people? actually by pe- yeah, it's two people. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> was one it's of the pe- was and- one of the people this one? No, she doesn't notice a goddamn thing. Why is she invited? Especially the responses to her jokes. Otherwise, she would have improved over the last four mm. fucking years. You dumb fucking bitch! You suck. And comedy. you don't even know Honestly? who we're talking about. Dude, it drives me nuts when somebody is working and not getting funnier. Like, I don't know what yeah. to do. Do I tell them or do I let them work it out on their well, own? Well, tell you, tell me you hate me without telling me. You if they me, ask Steven. you. If they ask you. Then I'll never tell anyone. Nobody ever you know asks what? me. Actually, fuck this. I, um, <laughs> don't fucking... <laughs> this person came up to me recently and asked, why don't you like me? Oh, no. I responded 100% honestly. Okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm ready for it. I said, why don't you like me? And I said, I don't know. Maybe the fact that you made up a completely horseshit rumor about a very close friend of mine and said that he <laughs> fucked somebody that he never fucked. It's blowjob. Oh, it was a, and it then, was a uh, blow job. 
which I never received. Oh, okay, okay, blowjob. Some type of sexual act. And then, and I was like, that's very fucked up. Has a family. Like, that could, if it makes it way back to the wrong person, that could really fuck up their life. And you had no evidence that this actually happened. They just pissed you off one night, and you said this thing. And they accepted zero fucking responsibility. First thing they said was, did I say that? Yes. Uh, no, I don't think. Well, here's what happened. Is like, And here's the thing. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to be better. So I'm not going to tell you what I know. I'm not going to tell you what I know because I don't want to put that stuff out there because I'm trying to be better Shout out about to not being better. saying things. And I was like, oh, I the guess. one thing that could explain why you did something so insane. Now, all of a sudden, you have morals. Okay. Okay. And I was like, somebody was being hurt and I cared about them. So I said something to him. I didn't say something to other people. I said something to him. I'm like, no. No. I heard about this rumor, not from him. Yeah, I heard spread. about it from other people. It spread because really it spread fast. because you talk shit. So fuck you. I'm not saying your name simply because oh, I'm not going to damn okay. it. I'm not going to damage your reputation in Columbus. Yeah. But you have. If I'm saying this and you're watching this, you know who the fuck <laughs> you are. They're and not. I, what, nobody's watching. I this, dude. don't like you. You're a bad person. I don't respect you. I hope you get a worse version of cancer than his fiance has. Hey, but hey, you're still invited to the wedding. Hey, Love you. <laughs> hey, can we do a voodoo doll where we transfer the bad things that have happened to her sweet? I'm just gonna say it, dude. Don't look at me. I don't do her. voodoo dolls. I'm a yeah, I'm gonna just say it, dude. I'm gonna just say the name. No, don't. Shayna, what you did was wrong. Ah. Fuck you, Shayna Rabani, you piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. Shayna's one of my favorite I'm people. I'm sick of it. I just I'm learned sick something of it. delightful about Shayna. It's on a podcast. That she's a piece of shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than <laughs> that. she spread rumors about Did you about know she's Chris. Jewish? Yeah, Jewish cunt. Um, so, <laughs> I recently learned that uh, Whoa. she... Whoa. <laughs> Uh, it's backlogged on my podcast by quite a bit. Actually, she didn't say it on the podcast. We were chatting on the way to the the not van. Uh, the bus. She, she's making a living. Currently, that's her primary source of income. But, I've, no, but I've known that for cool. a while. I did not know that. I think uh, that's I've known cool. that for a while. I don't give a fuck. I appreciate that's super cool that your primary source of income is comedy. Yeah, she's... If you're making yeah. a living on comedy, that's why for I, fucking you. I am super jealous of her. So me, she is so recently she's talked to me about this thing. She's like, I have this opportunity where I can make this amount of money, and uh, but the problem is I have to work with First this of all, person. She respects you for bringing that to you. She's like, I, I was like, because we we worked in the same, uh, we worked together on this one project where we both got paid for it, and so she's telling me about it, and she's like, this just let me know the level of difference that we are in success. Because she's like, I don't think I should do it because of this reason. And I was like, I would literally suck that motherfucker's cock <laughs> for that amount of money. <laughs> yeah. um, $500, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. Things are not going well, Chris. <laughs> right. Things are not going well. No, no, do you I've have $500? Your yeah, buddy, I do. No, no, Fucking no, I know pull out your making. cock. Yeah, yeah. Pull out your cock. I'll suck that fucking it's half Asian, half black. It's a white guy cock. Exactly. Asian from the waist. <laughs> It'll be so <laughs> easy to take. Uh, no, no, no. I oh, love, by the way, after this is Shana. over, I have to show you my penis. It's for a funny reason. Oh, Don't yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, Brian, Brian Harris, we tried to show it to him. He's like, no. He, God he, damn it. He backed out of it because he's he's a bitch. I'll never not look at a penis. Put that on my wiki. Let's go. I'll never hey, not look at a penis. You Steven heard it here Herchuk, first, lawyer, ladies and gentlemen. He will no. never refuse a cock. That's not what I said. <laughs> you won't refuse a cock. No, that's ex- precisely what <laughs> you said. Different than what I said. If you have a cock, that's the mini he wants version it. of what I said. Stephen Hercheck. Dude, his asshole is a landing strip for cocks, dude. <laughs> Stephen Hercheck Esquire will accept your penis. Stephen, Stephen Cockcheck Stephen, Esquire. Stephen Hercheck your cock into my asshole. <laughs> yeah, I could have been better. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We either drink more or wrap it up now. 
Let's yeah, wrap we're, it up. We're very fiz- we're, we fizzled out like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it fun is seeing us fall apart. Where yeah. it's like, oh my God, they were kind of funny at the beginning. I wish my dad would talk to me more. <laughs> I wish your dad would talk to you more too. Yeah, me too, dude. And yeah, he lives yeah. with me. It's weird. I would love to see the version of you that has confidence. <sighs> yeah, my girlfriend's been saying that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I, fuck so, I fuck so on sure like do you, do you like that no do you like that no and she's like yeah and you're like no seriously do you like do, are you, do you like is that it good? do you like terrence which is what i assume you name your dick oh <laughs> We're no gonna dude off camera. no i don't I'm terrence like no terrence is the name of a cock that is not good <laughs> terrence is doing his best how dare you terrence is trying Terrence is Terrence. Terrence has up. several good recommendations, but never performs under pressure. Who the fuck is this Terrence cock dude? Terrence cock? is the name of your penis. Remember that time First two off, white called... men named your cock? No, what? <laughs> what did I just pissed for like? What did I miss? Hey, pissing has nothing to do with cock size, Terrence lover. Just say nigger, dude. Don't say Terrence. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, hey ladies it. and gentlemen, that's the end of the episode. Just say it. Just say the N word. Don't. <laughs> That's not worth it. You fucking Terrence lovers, you guys it's have a good time. It's very fun. Say it on your own, but don't say it in front of you people. Better yeah, not... Don't don't say it while you're being recorded. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Unless you're fucking really cool. Rip my off. my daughter better. She better never bring home a Terrence. Ah! Oh my god, you're gonna have a daughter. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking. No, 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 